I've chosen a very public way to come to terms with my cancer experience. And in doing so, I've firmly attached cancer to my identity. People know me as a cancer guy. Uh, at a bar recently, a friend of a friend introduced himself to me and he said, Oh, so you make those cancer videos, right? Yeah, that's me. And sometimes I feel like the guy that took a trip to like, the Galapagos Islands and won't stop talking about how life-changing the experience was. Only instead of giant tortoises and beautiful beaches, it was chemo and biannual checkups and all the other cancer stuff that I talk about in these videos. Thank you for watching, by the way. When you're going through treatment, you kind of have to identify with cancer. It takes over your whole life. You look like a cancer patient. Your whole life revolves around healing and wellness and hospitals. But after treatment, how you identify with it becomes more of a choice. Hey, what seems to be the problem, officer? License registration. Of course, I have it right here. Thank you. Ah, uh, yeah, might have been going a little fast. I'm uh, actually headed to this event <laughs> right now. Supposed to be speaking at this event, actually. It's, a, um, it's for young survivors, cancer survivors, which is what I am. I'm a uh, cancer survivor. <laughs> so I try to give back when I can and give people a little hope, give people a little inspiration. Which is why I might have been speeding a little bit. So I understand if you need to give me a citation. You know, I guess we all make mistakes, even survivors, <laughs> which is something I am, cancer. Cancer. You through? Yeah. I, uh, oh, did you mean with treatment? Yeah, I'm in remission right now, which is, uh, you know, I cross my fingers every day. <laughs> Thanks for asking. I've earned a cancer card, and sometimes it feels great to play it. But there are others who want to identify themselves in spite of having had cancer. People that just want to move on and leave all the pain and trauma and discomfort in their rear view. I'm volunteering right now, actually, with Young Survivors Group. It's a um, kind of like a big brother or big sister's thing, but for survivors, so uh, we've been through a lot. Yeah. You can pay this online at the mail. And I had leukemia when I was 17. Four rounds of chemo and radiation. My sister was a donor for a bone marrow transplant. I'm fine now. Next time, you may want to leave a little early to get to your event. Sounds important. Being open and honest about a cancer experience is a relatively new thing. In the 50s and 60s, breast cancer was so deadly and so taboo that no one ever talked about it. But now, people are blogging about it, people are sharing stories, there are walks about it, there's a whole color associated with it. People wear pink shoes in the NFL for a whole month. And breast cancer has achieved one of the lowest mortality rates of all cancers. And it has to do with the fact that women took up cancer as an identity and made it part of the conversation. People listened, took action, and there were results. So whether or not you had cancer, or whether or not you want to talk about it all the time, we're all part of this conversation. You might not get out of any speeding tickets, but there will be results. Highly Evolved Human is made possible by our friends at Squarespace. You can watch more episodes of Highly Evolved Human by clicking here, and make sure to check out our website, which they helped us build here. They're willing to help you by offering a discount and a free trial if you put squarespace.com backslash H-E-H. Thank you for watching Highly Evolved Human. Make sure to subscribe. So pancake, subscribe. <laughs>